Welcome to how to install a fresh Windows 10 1903 version, that's the 2019 May edition, onto a Surface Pro 5th generation from 2017. I have previously done an install on a Surface Pro 3 and I'll put the link above, but this one, because of the different in look of the BIOS I decided to do a fresh install of my Surface Pro 5 so let's begin here are the steps five steps the first step you need to remove the micro USB from the back of the Surface Pro book what I mean by this is as you can see here sometimes you may put in a micro SD here to give you a bit of extra memory make sure that you remove this because we will be deleting all data from all drives so we don't want to delete data from this then find and download the windows iso it must be less than four gigabyte because you need to install it as fat32 not ntfs here is a link i've uploaded uh, this iso file because the one from the website is actually 4.6 gigabyte and that doesn't help us so here's one that I found uh, that works next we're going to load it onto a USB stick and then 4 we're going to open the BIOS and then 5 we're going to install from the USB so let's start from the beginning Okay, so let's begin. Before you do anything, remove the micro USB as shown here. Next, we need to download the ISO. So click on this link. The description will be below and you can click on it there. And that will take you to this page and you just simply download it. Next, you'll have to download a version of Rufus in order to install it on your USB so I've done that here I'm going to click download here and save that next we are going to install this ISO onto the Rufus as UEFI and FAT32 not NTFS so let's do that now now I'm just going to type in Rufus here, R-U-F-U-S, right click, run as administrator, and you'll see this is my USB, select the ISO file, which is on my desktop, leave as GPT, UFI, and make sure this is on FAT32, not NTFS. FAT32, and we simply press start. Now that may take a while. Warning, all data will be removed. Okay. This may take a while, so I'm going to pause until it's finished. Okay, so we're about to come to the end of that. And it's been done. So we can close that take out the USB stick if we have a look here we can see there it is that's our bootable USB so now let's move on to the PC so we've done steps one two and three and now we're going to configure the Surface Pro so let's do that now Now I'm going to install a new clean edition of Windows 1809 through a USB device here. So I'm going to turn off the computer first and then restart it. Now I'm going to restart it by holding the plus volume and the power button and letting go of the power button
I've let go of the power button now. And you can see the BIOS. You need to touch on security. And as you can see, I have disabled it. If you go here, it says Microsoft only, you have to go none. Click OK, and it says it's disabled. Leave this as is. Go to boot configuration, and you move the USB to the top. Now, normally you won't be able to do this if the configuration lock is on. You won't be able to move anything. So turn off the configuration lock and move the USB to the top. And you can see it's at the top. Then simply go to exit and restart. You'll see the unlock symbol above. And now we've booted into Windows. Because remember, we've made the USB with a FAT32 system. If you use NTFS, this will not work. I can use my keyboard. Here I'm going to click and accept the license agreement and go to advance. This is where I need to delete all of the drives on here. So I've just got the one drive. I don't need the partition recovery or anything because we're always going to do a clean boot. And also, remember to take out your uh, small SD card if you have a micro SD in the back, in case you delete that accidentally. Now I'm going to delete all these drives, even the recovery boot. Because if you know how to do a clean install, you'll never need that at all. So we've cleaned everything and now we're just going to click next. And I'll just pause the video while this runs and installs, it shouldn't take long. Okay, now we're getting to almost 100%. And it's going to restart. The computer. Well, that was taking a while. That was quite nerve-wracking. Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United Kingdom. Is that right? Yes. Your keyboard is set to the US. Want to stick with that? No. No. 
Which keyboard do you want to use? Spain. Spanish? I've got that you want to use Spanish. Is that right? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. No. Type what you want to name your account. Okay, now type a password for your account. Now I'm not going to put in a password because it's a lot easier when I'm installing drivers and programs. Hey, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Windows can save your spot in apps, files, and websites, so you can keep doing what you were doing even when you switch devices. Just choose yes to sync your activities. I'm not going to sync. Let's set things up the way you like them. First, choose if you want to use your voice to talk with me and other apps on this device. Okay, I'm going to switch off that annoying voice. So, I'm not going to use online speech recognition. Although, could be interesting. But uh, for now, I just don't need it. You can always turn it on later. I'll allow them to get my location for the weather app, but for the rest of the stuff, I just say no. It's all about tracking you and advertising to you. So I just keep saying no. Later, as I install programs, I don't want to keep putting my password in, so I just put that in later with a Hotmail account. Okay, so there we have it. Windows is finally set up. All I have to do is put in the driver, and uh, the driver is specific, and then I'm going to change back the startup so that it runs as normal so I change all those settings back to the original so let's do that first so I'm going to reboot the computer we'll switch off first shut down then I'm going to go back into the BIOS And remember to, the boot configuration is good, but I'm going to lock that so that Windows boot always comes first. And the security, I'm going to enable Microsoft only security again. So now secure boot is enabled, everything's back to normal. I'm going to exit, and you shouldn't see that red line across the top appear anymore and then we can go to exit and restart now and now you won't see that red bar coming up on the top with the lock icon so as you can see that took all of about 25 minutes to do no biggie hope you enjoyed it and enjoy your surface. Actually, before I go, I'll just show you the installer you will need. And when you're downloading the driver, you need to get the one that's connected to your version of Windows. So I'm going to install this driver but 
that's all for today. Hope you've enjoyed installing a fresh install of Windows in a Surface Pro.